cape Yo, what is going on guys? It is Matt from Fidelity Gaming TV and welcome back to another episode of Mac Money Road to the Show here on MLB 15, the show on the PS4. Mac Money is living the life right now. You saw that last episode. Made the All-Star game for the third time in his first three years in the MLB. The Braves, which he was going to ask to be traded away from, are now one of the best teams in baseball. So that is great. We're winning. Um, we are ahead in the division by three games, first place ahead of the Nationals. And yeah, we're just getting ready here to start the second half of the season coming off of that All-Star game where he hit a home run. And now we're just getting some training in here back in Atlanta. Um, just, I don't know, getting ready for the second half, I guess. Nothing else. Uh, you saw right there, though, some really good uh, throwing here from Mac Money. And that's really the only thing I think he was missing personally um, was his throwing. I think he could get some speed. He could use that. But other than that, he really has everything but fielding and reaction time and all that. I just recently upgraded that, and you were starting to see some pretty pretty good power throwing wise from Mac Money. So we're getting a spotlight here right after the All-Star break. Um, just letting everyone know that he made the NLR All-Star team as a starter though, not as a bench player. So that was important. Beat out his um, rival, I guess, Bryce Harper, same division, Nationals, fighting for a division spot on the top of it with him. And he got the starting nod instead of Bryce Harper, which is good to see. In fact, we're facing the Nationals right now, right after the All-Star break. They have four wins less than us as Mac Money step into the plate. 312 average this year, 13 homers. And here is the first pitch since the All-Star break. And Mac is smacking this one into left center. That's going back. Goodbye. The first pitch he sees after the All-Star break is a homer to center field. Wow. That is what we want to see. 14th homer on the year for Mac Money as that was only a solo shot, but he will take it as, like I said, first at-bat of the year since the All-Star break. Um, yeah, that was definitely gone. 417 feet, that is no um, wimpy homer. That is a long shot to dead center, too. So he gets that one, and the Bravos are up 1-0. Now 1-1 here in the bottom of the fourth as the bases are empty and no one out, and Mac is going to hit this one in the left field, and that's going to drop for a base hit. So an excellent start here to the second half in this game. As we'll get 12 points for the at-bat, he'll now have a single and a homer, and you see that puts him now at fourth, passing Vinny Bautista in the National League hit leader. So, moving forward, bottom of the fifth, no one on, two outs, Braves up 3-1. First pitch of the at-bat, Mac sees, and he is hitting this one in the left field. That is going to fall. That is fair. He's trying to go to second for a double, and he does just that. A stand-up double, 14 points for the at-bat. And he is a triple away from the cycle. 3-3 here in the bottom of the seventh. Can he get a triple and complete the cycle? Well, not this at-bat. They're just too scared of him. Close game. Later in the game, they're going to walk him intentionally. So... That's a little frustrating there. We didn't get a chance to hit a triple. Will we have another at bats? No. We don't. Fortunately, though, the Braves do hang on and win this one 4 to 3 as Matt goes 3 for 3 with a homer, a double, a single, and a walk. So, overall, pretty good game. He couldn't get a cycle for the first time in his career. Um, just a triple shy of it. But he will get the player of the game, like I said, getting that homer and helping the Braves win the game. We got a trade here. Athletics send over Derek Norris to the Braves for second baseman Jack Rosario. He's nothing much. Uh, just This is just a depth trade. We have, um, oh, what's his name at second base? I, I forgot his name already. But we have him. He's really good. A potential. We don't need him. So basically, this is just for depth. Derek Norris is going to be behind Evan Gaddis for the catcher spot. And now we are moving forward. Still here at Turner Field in Atlanta against the Toronto Blue Jays. Last five games, Smack is doing uh, pretty good. 400. He's not doing amazing, but that's still pretty good. We'll take it. First inning. Mac is hitting this one into center. That's going to drop. This is this is usual. We're getting used to this. Mac is becoming a force to be reckoned with here in the MLB. And you see here I got the two times multiplier 
Add some extra stubs, put that on there. Losing to nothing, but Mac doesn't care. He's getting a single in the left. That's his second hit of the day in his second at-bat. 24 points for the at-bat. I mean, this is just domination. You are seeing domination, and the Braves are coming back and taking the lead. 3-2 to two now later in the game. Mac is not going to get a hit, so for the first time we see him be uh, retired. It was just all hits or a walk. And he will finish the game 2-4 with a run and two singles. So nice to see there. The Braves win again. I'm telling you, this Braves team is making a turn for the better. So we're here in Cincinnati, home of the Reds, as the Reds are struggling. Four games under 500. Meanwhile, the Braves at 58 wins. One of the best teams in baseball here in the spot where, well, this is 2018. But this year, tonight actually, the Home Run Derby, you will see in Cincinnati. This is the same ballpark, and tomorrow is the All-Star Game. So, Mac, uh, yeah, he's getting hit here. He's, you know, maybe some players are realizing that he is not somebody they want to uh, like very much, and they're walking him intentionally, hitting him on the foot. Oh, well, 1-1 one, one here in the bottom of the seventh. Runner on second. Mac is trying to make this catch, and he will, and he will actually prevent the runner from tagging the third. So, a nice job there. 16 points for the fielding opportunity. Next at bat. 1-1 one, one here in the 8th. Runner on first. Mac is hitting this one deep into right. This has got a chance. It's going back, and it's gone. What a laser beam into right. And Mac Money has his second home run of the episode. His 15th on the season, and he will get 64 points for that two-run shot. Wow, that was a laser. That got out of here in a hurry. Pure domination from Mac Money. Just pure domination, and the Braves as well. They win this one, 3-1. to one. Matt goes 1-3, for three, only getting that homer. But you know what? That homer was so big, they're just going to give him the player of the game as that two-run shot proved to be the game winners. Yeah, it runs 2 and 3 for Mac. And like I said, just, just really making his case for possibly an MVP this season. Like, I'm dead serious. He is looking extremely good. So we're over here at Camden Yards, Baltimore, Baltimore, Oriole. Uh, I don't know. I guess they didn't get the rights or whatever. I just realized that. Uh, it says Oriole Park, not Camden Yards, but okay. Anyways, top of the first, runner on first with one out. Mac is hitting this one up the middle. You know the deal. Base hit, base hit, and he will advance the runner from first to second. So now there's runners on first and second for the Braves. And you see here, this Orioles team is actually pretty stacked. Manny Machado. Uh, well, they got Chris. No, oh, no, they don't have Chris Davis. Never mind. Manny Machado, Prince Fielder now, and hang on a sec. What a catch that was. We gotta see this again. Vince O'Donnell absolutely robs Mac Money of a base hit here, just diving out and making the catch. Wow. Never heard of this guy, but I guess I do now. Anyways, back to what I was saying. Um, Adam Jones, Manny Machado, Prince Fielder. This this Orioles team is pretty stacked here, but this Braves team does not care. Mac Money, RBI single here into center, unless they can tag him. Oh, actually, that was pretty close. They won't get him. And as a result, it's an RBI single for Mac. 36 points for the at-bats, and he is rolling. Braves up 4-0. Top of the seventh, no one on, one out. 1-0 one -on pitch from a pitcher is hit into left field. And this is this is something we have not seen in Mac Money's career. Yes, he's been a power hitter. Yes, he's doing very well um, making all-star games. But just being this dominant this often is something we don't see a lot. And... This is, this is good to see. This is the top. This is the prime of Mac Money's career. And keep in mind, he's only like 22, I think. 22, 23, something like that. And he is doing very well. So Braves hang on and win this one. 5-3, to three, 13 hits for that. Mac goes 3-5 for five with three singles and an RBI as the Braves win that one. And we are back at home, this time against Miami. Last game of the episode. Miami's up um, above the 500 mark by one game. Meanwhile, the Braves... Yeah, they're very comfortable. 22 games above 500. Last year about this time, I was ready to just quit. I was ready to ask for a trade. This team is so horrible, and I'm very glad I said it. I said, you know what? I'm going to stay for one more season, and if it works out, it works out. If not, I'll ask for a trade. Well, we're definitely not asking for a trade because this is as good as it gets here. Six-game hitting streak right now for Mac Money. Trying to continue it. This will not help as he will ground out here. And only get four points for the at-bat. Maybe he can do it later in the game. But we're in the field now. 1-1 one, one in the top of the fifth. Runner on second. And he's going to make that catch. So nice job there. Again, showing you that I've been improving his fielding abilities. 2-1 Braves now in the fifth. And make it seven games as he hits this one into the left center field gap. He's going to try for two. Runner comes home and scores. And Mac Money has himself an RBI double. Wow. 
this guy just, he's a machine. He just does not stop. Raves win this one, 6-1. Matt goes one for four, but that hit was a very important one as it was an RBI double and helped the Braves just a bit on their victory against the Marlins. So that is going to do it for the episode. I hope you guys enjoyed. Next episode, we will start the second to last month of the regular season. Start off in the Bay, San Francisco in August. Hope you guys enjoyed. Smash that like button. Make sure to subscribe. And as always, peace. Oh, my God.